My daughter loves Shopkins. If you have small children, you probably have some of them laying around your house. They're tiny little replicas of things that you would go shopping for with faces on them. Well, we were at a garage sale last week and we found a bunch of Shopkins. Two play sets and a little backpack just full of Shopkins, all for $8. And if you have small children and have had to buy Shopkins, you know that this was a great deal. She had a great time going through them, looking in detail at each one to see which one she had gotten. Our car ride home consisted of statements like, hey, I got a cowgirl hat, or look, mom, a bathrobe. I got another cheese. <clears throat> at home, she made an announcement. Mom, I counted them and I have 144 Shopkins. I said, wow. I'm not sure if I was more impressed that she had that many or that she had taken the time to count them all. However, a moment later, her face fell and she asked me, Mom, have you seen the salt shaker one? I can't find it. It's little and pink and clear. She described them in great detail, but I had no idea where it was. All I could think was, you just told me you had 144. Why are we upset about this one? As I thought about it, the scripture came to mind of how the good shepherd leaves the 99 for one. When that shepherd, even though he had 99 perfectly good sheep, found that one of his sheep were missing, he went looking for it. You see, we're not just a handful of Shopkins or a herd of sheep, but he knows us by name. He knows every detail about us. We are individuals to him, and when someone is lost or has lost their way, he's willing to go searching and reaching until they are found. If you are lost, if you've lost your way, please know that Jesus is reaching for you, that he wants you back. Don't think that just because the church is full on Sunday that he doesn't notice that you're not there. He sees you, he loves you, and he is reaching for you. If you are one of the 99, or the 144 Shopkins in our case, what are we doing to help bring the lost sheep back into the fold? Are we as concerned about them as the shepherd is? Do we see a lost soul as being as valuable as he sees them? Are we willing to venture out from where we are comfortable to seek, to search for that lost one? I pray that we are. I pray that I am. Give us your eyes, Lord, to see. Give us your heart, Lord, to love. Let us be the hands that you use to reach that someone that is lost. You see, I have to admit, I didn't help my daughter look for her Shopkin. It really wasn't that important to me, and I had better things to do. But she did. She looked until she found it, and now it's in a special spot so it doesn't get lost again. I don't want that to be said of me spiritually. I pray that I would have the same heart as the Good Shepherd and be willing to do whatever it takes to reach the one. God bless you.